Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit more wiring here in the Mitsubishi Challenger. So I thought I would show you some of this stuff that I've already done. So, so far what we have is of course our DAC, where it's all going to originate. Um, and then from here, we have our pack module, which is our battery guard indicator. Now, this we want of course wired here, just because that's the first thing we want to... Uh, turn everything off if our battery gets too low. All right, so that can be wired here. Now, if you're wiring up a voltmeter, we've decided to wire it after the pack module because we figure by that time we want you know all power to be cut so that way nothing's drawing. But if you don't really care about that, you can always wire in the voltmeter first so that way you can see why it turned off, what voltage the uh, power is, um, and why this has shut off your remote lines, all right? Uh, if you want more information on this, just check the uh, build playlist out and you will see I go more in depth with this. So then the next thing down our line here is the voltmeter, of course. And then we have a remote on-off switch. So I don't want uh, this to be connected first like the switch. The reason why is I want to, if I switch off the remote wire to the amplifiers, I still want to see the voltage on the batteries if that makes sense and that's why I'm saying if you want to you could wire this in front of the battery guard so that way you can see you know if the battery guard turns off the remote wire you can still see the power of the um, of everything that's going on and why it's gone into protect even though you're also gonna have to wire in an LED for that which we wired in up here so next thing we've got down there is this and the other thing I've wired in here which it, this switch will turn off is this relay everything that we're wiring to the back since we have so many things that require a remote line we've wired the remote to a relay and then this goes to 12 volts so the remote tells the relay when to turn on and send power and then that's pure power from the battery so that way we can feed the rest of the devices without causing too much amps to go through one line if that makes sense alright so yeah now that we've gotten there the next thing that we're gonna be wiring up is we're gonna be doing some LEDs around the sub box and some other places so we're gonna be wiring in an LED switch and then from there um, yeah that's pretty much the dash for now that's what we're gonna be wiring up here other than, uh, you know, we got to wire in some tweeters, but we still have to choose tweeter positions, which will be much later on. So, that's basically what we've gotten done so far with the dash. And stay tuned for more updates. Like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.